Hey, Vortex. So I'm all walking around, enjoying the fresh air. It's nice to enjoy the fresh air, you know? Ooh, yeah, see? I just found a pack of cigarettes, an empty pack of cigarettes, and I'm gonna throw it away. You see, I have a camera crew of self-awareness in my brain, and if I see some trash and I don't pick it up, I feel bad. You see, this is what I'm gonna do. You see? That's a trash canister, and this is trash. I want you guys to see this, environmentalist. You see this? That's right. No government necessary. All you pussies out there that can't handle doing anything yourself. I'm gonna teach you how to commit suicide, okay? <laughs> They'd probably screw that up too. <laughs> yeah, they would. They would just write the no for attention. I don't even wanna sit. I don't even wanna sit in this table. You see, this is a table. With, with, with chairs attached to it, which is so strange. And it's so uncomfortable too. I wish that somebody could, could change that. You're gonna be the one. I'm gonna be the one, yes. So many things we take for granted in this country. So many things we take for granted, period, point blank, just being alive, just having functioning organs, having functioning, um, Muscles and limbs and eyeballs and ear holes and, well, eardrums, rather. <laughs> yeah, the ear holes are kind of useless if the eardrums don't work. Correct! See, this is the kind of stuff that I do in my spare time. Like, I used to do this all the time when I was younger where I would just, uh, hold on. Oh, oh, just hurt myself a little bit, but that's fine, that's fine. See, I just walk around and I do my thing. You see? More trash. We're gonna put this on the, uh, we're gonna put this on the wall. And we're gonna get it and we're gonna put that into the trash canister. Also, you see? It's possible to be a decent human being that cares about the environment and cares about your fellow human beings. If you're wondering why I don't go along with stuff that doesn't make sense, it's because it's a, it's a bad example. People think I'm such an idiot because I don't have a smartphone. You know what? Whenever all this technocracy takes over, you're really going to wish that you'd listen to me. You're really going to wish that you were a little bit more unconventional and that you question authority and you question the institutions a bit more. You're going to wish that. And I'm talking to my little kid voice because... I get really frustrated with the way that people don't question things and then they have the audacity to play the victim when things don't work out. It's like, that's what you get. And it just makes me mad because it's going gonna, it's gonna to affect people like me, still. It's still going to affect people like me. <laughs> and like, I'm going out of my way to check out of the system. I'm going out of my way to not fool with anybody. And it's people like me. And there are plenty of people out there that are sheep. But they're not hurting anyone. And they're the ones that are most negatively impacted by all this crap. And the people that want more of that crap are people that aren't affected at all because they're getting, they're getting exactly what, what they wanted, you know? They, they're getting that socialism. 
but I highly doubt that they're even going to understand why it's not going to work out, you know, the way that they have envisioned it. But then again, it's like, well, they're constantly staring at a screen of some sort, you know, they're either staring at a phone, they're staring at a TV, they're staring at their Apple Watch, they're staring at uh, a TV. <laughs> I mean, there's so many different things that we watch, you know, like... Movies, TV, like actual TV. Music videos. That lowered everyone's attention span in the 80s. And then you got stuff on YouTube. All this stuff with, with social media. It's like nobody's alive anymore. And I know, I know it, it probably seems hypocritical be doing this, but it's like the whole reason I'm doing it is for y'all. It's not for me. I, I, I do this no matter what. <laughs> camera, no camera, it doesn't matter. There's a camera inside my brain, which is why I don't need one in the real time. Everybody else, they're making themselves crazy. And they don't even know it. And you try to tell them and they'll get so upset because it's like you're questioning their reality. You're challenging everything that they've bought themselves into. You know, like all this stuff that they've been told and sold is literally designed to just destroy their psyche. And you can say that I'm one hell of a naysayer and that I'm, you know, real dark, but that's literally happening, man. It's literally happening. Everybody is so dull and depressing and stupid and ignorant, arrogant, and competent, and they take pride in this crap. They take pride in this crap, no matter what side they're on. They take pride in this crap. And then you want to call me a naysayer. You want to call me negative. How dare you? Or I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How dare you? <laughs> I wish I could get Greta Thunberg out here and we could clean up some trash together. You know what I mean? It's just... <laughs> I probably, I probably help out that girl a lot more than anybody that talks to her. Like, they're just using her. <sighs> it's all about control, though. You know, they just, they just want to have control over everybody. And so they use all these, these uh, different measures, you know, freaking people out about the environment, freaking people out about, about disease and... I'm not denying anything, okay? I'm one of the few logical ones. <laughs> it's like I can see that there are problems, but I, I know that, that the solutions to those problems are not anything that they're gonna suggest. And any intelligent person knows that. And any boring dullard is gonna just do what they're told buy what they're sold, they'll believe all of that horse pucky until it kills them. They'll believe all that gobbledygook until they are literally in a hospital bed <laughs> because of something, you know, that they were, they were told that they needed. Look, oh my goodness, right here. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about, folks. I see them everywhere. And I'm not picking it up because I don't want to catch that corona, right? <laughs> I'm just saying. It, it absolutely behooves me, the stuff that people believe. But, but fear is a great motivator to do stuff that does not make sense. It really is. Oh God, I gotta pick it up. I gotta pick it up. Tell me, you don't, you don't wanna catch a disease. You don't wanna get sick. Oh, oh my God, no, no, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Do the right thing. Do the right, no, no. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. So we pick it up right here, there we go, there we go. Let's see. 
Let's see, there's, there's a water bottle over here. We're gonna pick this up too. I guess somebody's doing heroin out here. <laughs> this would be a good place to do it, this little bed of leaves. That'd be comfortable, you know, it'd be like a little mattress. Right, right. Okay, we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back to the trash canister. And we're gonna pick up that beer bottle. Like, I can't believe there's all this trash out here, man. Oh, see, there's, there's a bag. There's a bag, but it's ripped. That bag is ripped. What use is a ripped bag? <laughs> what about that red bag? Oh my God. Another mask, you see? Oh, it fell. That's so, that's so cute. I actually just want to leave it there. Cause it's kind of sweet. You see? They're really helping us, aren't they? They're really, really helping us. It's all about protecting us for our own good. I'm sure that's it. I'm sure that's it. It couldn't possibly be any other reason. Um, <laughs> anyway. See, I like this, Lord. Just the ability to come out here and enjoy this. And to think, you know, maybe in just like a couple years, there's gonna be mass surveillance and I won't even be able to do this, you know? It's like, why would anybody want that? It's like, I, I don't get it. It's like, and I wish that I could, I could have sent this memo to people and they, they really would have understood it. You know, like you don't want to have a camera following you around everywhere. I mean, I have one in my head and that makes me really aware of things. But that's not what's happening. It's like the opposite, <laughs> you know? I really think like staring at a screen, it's just, it does some of your brain. It, like, it does some of your psychological makeup and it just makes you unaware of stuff. And it's like people that I've known for years, it's like they're different now. They are so different. It's like I can't even talk to them. It's crazy because I used to not be able to get along with my parents and my parents are still as sheep as they come. They still don't question anything and that's so annoying. But I can rely on the fact that they're still the same. They'll always be the same. And my dad, just like, he refuses to leave the 50s, man. Like everything on TV that he watches is like old shows from the 50s, you know? Like just, well actually no, before that, like everything he watches is in black and white. Now, I don't know if I'd like to go back to that universe, but I'd like it to be closer to that one than this one, I'll tell you. I'll tell you some, because it's just absolutely ridiculous that people voted for this or wanted this, you know? But I'd like to think that, that we could do something different. You know, if we put our heads together, we could come up with something better that was separate from what's going on. Anyway, there are a lot of people that I like a lot on social media. A lot of them hate each other. It's hilarious. I'm probably the only person that can listen to all these people within the same time allotment. <laughs> you know, I guess that's cool when you're open minded, but you still have principles. Those principles don't go anywhere, but at least, you know, you're open to interpreting things differently because 
That's the best way to be a good human. I just wish more people cared about that and it wasn't about narcissism and it wasn't about, oh, look at me, look at me. I'm so awesome. <laughs> like I said, we need to do a instruction manual on how to commit suicide. <laughs> I, you know, I used to think that I was so mean. I don't, I don't think so anymore. I really don't. People are proven day in and day out that I am a pretty nice person. 